The science of canine intelligence has advanced significantly over the past two decades. Wagging tails, persuasive looks, and the shape of ears reveal a wide range of information about the intentions and emotional states of dogs. The way dogs develop behaviors similar to humans has been the subject of many scientific studies. Research has shown that dogs possess the same brain structures that produce emotions in humans, and there are several ways they demonstrate love and affection. Today, we're going to explore 10 scientifically proven ways your dog shows love for you. Number 1. Your dog yawns with you. Dogs yawn for various reasons. Typically, they do this to relieve stress, such as when you take them to the vet, or to contain excitement when you grab the leash to take them for a walk. But if your dog yawns when you yawn, it's actually a form of social bonding. Researchers from the University of Tokyo have shown that, just like humans, dogs yawn contagiously. But they are more sensitive to the yawns of their owners than to those of strangers. Since contagious yawning in humans is linked to empathy, some scientists believe the same might occur in dogs. While researchers are still working to explain this connection, you can try a simple test to see if your dog truly loves you. Just yawn and see if your dog yawns too. Let me know your results in the comments. Number 2. Your dog looks directly into your eyes. Dogs cannot communicate verbally with humans, so they use various nonverbal ways to communicate. One of the ways dogs show their love is by looking directly into your eyes. According to research published in the journal Science, dogs form strong emotional bonds with humans by gazing into our eyes. In the same way humans develop emotions by looking into each other's eyes. This nonverbal form of communication increases the levels of a social hormone called oxytocin in both dogs and their owners. Dogs also look into your eyes to show devotion and anticipate your next move, so they can be by your side when it happens. But remember, never stare down a strange dog, because for dogs, a stranger staring, whether a human or another animal, can signal a threat. Number 3. Your dog raises its eyebrows. Technically speaking, dogs don't have eyebrows like humans, but they can appear to raise their eyebrows when they lift the area just above their eyes. When they lift these eyebrows and stick their tongue out at the same time, they're trying to imitate your facial expressions in the best way they can. They don't do this with other dogs, but they do it with you. According to research published in Scientific Reports, Dogs produce significantly more facial movements when humans are paying attention to them than when they are ignored, proving the connection they have with us. Number 4. Your dog cuddles with you after eating. This is the surest way to know that your dog loves you. Even though you feed them every day, your dog doesn't just see you as a food machine. They want to snuggle with you after a meal to show that they love you for more than just the daily food. Cuddling also releases endorphins that make them feel better. And let's be honest, it makes you feel better too. So, tell me in the comments, does your dog prefer to play alone or snuggle with you after eating? Number 5. Your dog brings their favorite toy to you. Unless they're a cartoon animal, dogs can't talk, so they show love in other ways, such as bringing their favorite toy to you. Dogs are possessive of their bones, toys, and other chew items, so when your dog jumps onto your lap and brings that chewed-up, worn-out toy or their favorite bone, be happy. They're showing two types of love-driven behavior. First, they're offering you a gift. Second, they trust that you'll protect their most valuable items just as you keep them safe. Made it this far? You must be enjoying the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, Take this moment to subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up to the video. This not only helps us but also lets YouTube know you want to see more of our videos. Number 6. Your dog lets you touch their head. I've already made a video about this, and many people said their dogs like to be petted on the head, so here's the explanation. Many dogs don't like being petted on the head because they perceive it as a threat, especially if you're looming over them as humans often do. They don't enjoy being patted on the top of the skull. It's much better if you get down to their level and scratch under their chin or at the base of their tail. But if your dog lets you touch the top of their head, enjoys the moment, and even closes their eyes, you're someone very special to them. Remember that. Number 7. 
Your dog messes with your clothes and carries your socks around the house. If your dog sleeps on your clothes, that means they love you. Your clothes have your scent, and dogs always want to feel closer to you. Obviously, the items that carry your strongest scent are your socks and shoes, so those are the first things they'll look for. Number 8. Your dog wags their tail when they see you. Your dog will wag their tail to communicate with you, but that doesn't always mean they're happy. Wagging in the natural position can be a friendly greeting, but pay attention to other tail positions. If a dog is nervous, they will wag their tail in a lower position, and if their tail is raised, they're curious or excited about something. A more rigid, slower wag could mean they're about to become aggressive. Either way, your dog is definitely trying to tell you something when they wag their tail. This isn't always easy to understand, as tail positions vary by breed. The best thing to do in this case is to research your dog's breed to better understand why they're wagging their tail and what it means. Number 9. Your dog goes crazy when you're late getting home. This is the most important and certain sign that your dog loves you. Studies have shown that the reunion between dogs and their owners has a significantly positive effect on them, increasing the level of the social hormone oxytocin and lowering the level of the stress hormone cortisol. You see, as the leader of your dog's pack, even if you only have one dog, they think you went out to hunt and bring food for the family. They don't really understand that you're working to make a living and that their food comes from the store. So, if you're late, they might imagine that a bigger or more aggressive dog might have overpowered you. That's why they get so excited when you come home. They're probably also wagging their tail in an upright position, as they're super excited and curious about what new treats you might be bringing, which doesn't always happen. But you can reassure them by showing you still love them, and they'll make sure to show their love for you too, likely by licking your face. They've been waiting for you all day after all. Number 10. Your dog follows you everywhere, even when you don't need them to. Whether you like it or not, you are the leader of your dog's pack, and they will follow you everywhere, even when you want to be alone. If you've ever given your dog treats, they might follow you thinking there are always more treats with you, or you may have unknowingly trained your dog to be clingy since they were a puppy. This happens because clingy behavior starts when dogs are still puppies and are taken away from their mother. When this happens, they start to see you as their new parent, which in fact you are. This process is called imprinting. Now, do you know why a dog bites you? Did you know it's not always aggression? In this video on the screen, I talk about 10 different meanings behind your dog's bites. Do you know them all? Click on the screen and continue with me in the amazing world of dogs.